Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, Anna Bella, and today I'm going to be reviewing the items that I bought at the Natural History Museum as part of the Fantastic Beasts, the Wonder of Nature exhibition. Okay, I got the £20 bundle, which included this fabulous poster, which we're just going to look at. So... There we have it. We've got penguins, we've got pufferfish, we've got tigers, we've got chameleons, we've got giraffes. And then we've got all the mythical creatures coming down the sides. We've got a niffler there and he's hanging out with the dancing spider and a bow tuck, bow truckle, just there. It's all looking good. So for £20, you got the poster, you got this bag and inside the bag, you got the following. If I can just find it. Aha! The obligatory pencil. Highly sharpened top. It's HB1. It says the Wonder Fantastic Beasts, the Wonder of Nature on it, and it has an eraser or rubber on the bottom, depending on your use of English. I also got this, which is a free... Um, you don't have to buy this at all. It comes free with the Natural History Museum exhibit. So, you've got a little booklet. And it also has these keys, which we will get to in a minute. So, for, if you use these keys, you can get it on, you can use them on the Harry Potter fan club and download stuff. There's a Fantastic Beast QR code there. Now, note that this book is worth $16.99. Hold that in your head. So, Oh, and this is sponsored by Google Arts and Culture. Google is everywhere, my children. So it's National History Museum, Google Arts and Culture, and WB. They're everywhere. So that came free as part of the exhibit if you asked for it. I've got a pencil, a poster, this lovely bag, except it's black and white. You also get, for £20, you get the book as well. Now, bearing in mind that the book is £16.99, the book will be having its separate review because it is just too good to not have a separate review from this. Um, and where else? Oh, just random note. This is the Evening Standard. It's much thinner and to the point. So I really like that. That was Thursdays. Got that free as well. And same with the Metro. The Metro is always thicker. But I'm really pleased that the Evening Standard is... Thin, but didn't get that with the pack, obviously. What else? Aha! The obligatory postcard. It's lovely. Really, really shiny. You have to use um, a biro on it because it does have a sheen to it. Place for your stamp, place for the address. So there you have it. So for £20, you got the poster, the book, which is worth £60.19. Um, you got the poster, the book, which is worth sixteen ninety nine, the postcard, and the pencil and the bag. Now, on top of that, I also got some extra items because why not? I give to you the wonderful. If I can get him out or her, I'm not quite sure. She's a bit gender neutral, um, or he or them. Anyway, moving on from the House of Z before we get any more confused over a gender-neutral dinosaur. This is the Draco Rex Hogwartsia. This is the only one in existence. Well, obviously, there's more than one of this figure, but um, you can see it at the exhibition. It has his bumps on its back. Like that tail. It's got... Four toes, if you include the little claw there. Quite large arms for a little dinosaur. And it's got bumps on its head and horns. And sharp teeth. I'm not quite sure if it eats people or not. Don't know. Not quite sure if it's a meat eater or not. Because it's got quite sharp teeth there. And it's got all these bumps on it. So, I'm guessing it eats vegetables. Or it could eat people. I don't know. Well, it can't eat people because it's extinct. But that's neither here nor there. So I got this one. I really need to Google what it eats. Note to self. Oh. I got two 
more chocolate frogs. The milk chocolate um, frogs with rice, with crisp rice. It's basically that popping candy you can get. And in it, I actually got some useful information. Here we have Bertie Bot, the inventor of Bertie Bot's Ever Flavor Beans, which is quite cool. So an explanation of how they were created can be read there in that one. And in the other one, we also got a very useful wizard as well. We got Hegist of Woodcroft, who he was driven away by his he was driven away from his home by Muggle persecutors. Hegist is supposed to have settled in Scotland where he founded the village of Hogsmead. And the Three Broomsticks Inn is allegedly his old home. So that's quite interesting. And to top it all off, I got this little dude. This cute little giraffe. Very, very soft. Very, very soft little giraffe mane. I'm not quite sure what you call that. Yeah, it would be a mane. And then you've got a little tail with his tuft. He does, however, have magnetic feet, which is quite cute. He's got magnets in the bottom of his toes and he fits together quite nicely. See, look. Ding. So, there he is. I'm going to call him Albert. And it's a nat nature planet little dude. So, I got these extra things just because I could. And then these are the things were part of the um, bundle. Originally, I was supposed to get a bundle with my original ticket, but I got so fed up with all the changes and all the chopping that I just carried the ticket forward and I forgot about the bundle, which is fine because the bundle was the same price at the shop. So I hope you've enjoyed this review slash look at the stuff I got. Please like, comment and subscribe. I will be doing a separate in-depth look at this book because it deserves it possibly oh yeah i could do that with the um book that i got from the um british library exhibition but i'll just give you a little flick through there we are so hope you've enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe stay safe where you are and enjoy the slow opening up to the new normal bye